So I extend my heartfelt gratitude to Chancellor Van Coyne for inviting me to be part of this special event to celebrate the unveiling of the Big Five transformational initiatives that will propel the University of Nairobi to a fit for purpose, sustainable and resilient future. This demonstrates how the university is keeping tabs with the government and the international community, particularly on sustainability interventions geared towards building institutional resilience. It further reinforces the education reforms that His Excellency President William Ruto envisaged when he appointed the Presidential Working Party on Education Reform in September 2022. I am also pleased to take advantage of this opportunity to return to my beloved alma mater. Yes, I am extremely proud to be an alumni, alumnus of the University of Nairobi. I take pride in the fact that this university has produced 35% of the top 1,000 scientists in Kenya, according to the AD Scientific Index Report. Furthermore, the Center for the World University Rankings places the University of Nairobi among the world's top 2,000 universities. It is also placed in many rankings among the top 20 African universities. The university is also a member of the African Research Universities Alliance, ARUA, which recently launched an ambitious initiative of nurturing 1,000 doctoral degrees per year for the next 10 years. The vision of this consortium is to make African researchers and their institutions globally competitive while contributing to the generation of knowledge for Africa's socioeconomic transformation. These statistics serve to exemplify our national commitment to education and informs our collective efforts towards making Kenya the top academic destination in the continent for the benefit of our children and grandchildren. This will ensure that a Kenyan graduate is competitive anywhere in the world. They also demonstrate the, how the University of Nairobi leads as a beacon of knowledge and innovation, nurturing generations of leaders and professionals who have made a mark in shaping the development and future of our nation, our region, and the world at large. I am pleased to note that the Chancellor's transformative agenda includes strategic initiatives to show up innovation, equip young people to lead the green transition, and harness the power of artificial intelligence. It will also help to bridge the gap between the academia and industry to accelerate the growth of emerging sectors in line with the government's bottom-up economic transformation agenda. This is a bold vision for the future and commitment to excellence that will define the university's trajectory for years to come. These initiatives come at a momentous time in the history of our country. Kenya has earned its place in the global arena for being an attractive regional hub for foreign direct investments. The key drivers of this FDI flows include the emerging opportunities in many sectors, including financial services, technology, and education. Foreign relations and diplomacy, which are under my jurisdiction, are playing a more significant role than ever before in emerging regional and global issues, including trade and investment, security, and climate change mitigation. This is the first time we are having a president from the University of Nairobi.
it's, it is just there right under our noses, but we don't realize. Because all our other presidents have not been from the University of Nairobi. Am I wrong or right? So, then there's every reason why he was very categorical as to what Kuria said, that it is important that we globalize this institution. We broaden our horizons. We nurture the right kind of uh, leadership. Let us migrate from being parochial as a nation, as a people. Let us engage in real discourse. The last general election we had in 2022 was a landmark election because it brought about the kind of integration in terms of the political divide that we never, ever conceptualized. Kenyans were on both sides of the divide. People who found it easy to go to the booth and vote on ethnic lines found it extremely difficult this time around because they were voting from a completely different perspective. It is a milestone. It is an opportunity. It is a moment for us to really transform this country. Let's seize this opportunity. Let us not go backwards. Let us go forwards. Let us make our engagements, engagements that are issue-based so that we persuade each other on issues and not the difficulty of pronouncing my name or Patrick's. You notice I've chosen the easier part. <laughs> Let us really be patriotic uh, as we move ahead. So thank you all. Asante Nisan. We have never quite documented Kenya's foreign policy appropriately. We have had bits and pieces, attempts, and then it remains with the executive. It is our desire and our commitment that as we celebrate 60 years of independence, from 1964, this is going to be the 60th year, we want to be able to present to Parliament a policy and indeed have a sessional paper on Kenya's foreign policy. We will want to engage you because we want to break away from having a foreign policy that belongs to the executive and to have a foreign policy that belongs to the Republic of Kenya. So we shall be seeking your support, your input, your advice, your criticism until we arrive at what we can collectively say this is Kenya's foreign policy position on the following issues. Ladies and gentlemen, Kenya's prosperity hinges on a collective effort where the pursuit of knowledge and academic excellence is intertwined with a commitment to national service. We must encourage our students to use their skills and knowledge to address the challenges facing our society to innovate solutions that benefit Kenyans and to lead initiatives that drive sustainable development. Ladies and gentlemen, let me conclude 
my remarks by extending my warm congratulations to Chancellor Van Kogen and the entire University of Nairobi community on the unveiling of, unveiling of the Big Five initiatives. The transformative impact of these in initiatives should inspire other universities to strive for academic excellence and make a greater contribution to share prosperity for all Kenyans. Together, let us forge a legacy of innovation and unwavering dedication to the national interest. Let us ensure that the University of Nairobi not only shines as a beacon of knowledge and excellence, but also stands as a testament to our collective resolve to uplift our nation. May the spirit of unity and progress guide us towards a brighter, more prosperous future for Kenya and beyond. I have just returned from the United States where I accompanied His Excellency President William Ruto to a historic state visit hosted by President Joe Biden. The President engaged constructively with his host, government officials, and the U.S. private sector. He was able to strike deals worth 36.15 million U.S. dollars, or equivalent to 4.7 billion, for basic and higher education sector programs. I'm just focusing around the education uh, sector. And uh, one of the issues that came up here was that there was strong reliance and emphasis on STEM, which is what you have been pushing for. It's all part of the AI, AI to try and strengthen our capacity there. I am delighted to note that the University of Nairobi is one of our institutions of higher learning that will benefit from this investment. This will certainly buttress the Chancellor's agenda and spring this institution to the pinnacle of innovation and entrepreneurship. I envisage a university that will nurture the entrepreneurial spirit among our students and faculty. Further, it will incubate groundbreaking ideas that will transform industries, drive economic growth, and contribute to social transformation. Professor Van Coyn has assured me that he will work with the university administration to draw on our existing faculty talent and attract further top talent from around the world to study and conduct research at the University of Nairobi. We expect that the university will bring together the brightest minds from diverse backgrounds who will enrich our academic environment and enhance Kenya's competitiveness in higher education and research. I encourage the university to lead the charge in equipping students with the knowledge and skills necessary to navigate the complexities of international relations by fostering a deep understanding of global issues and encouraging active participation in international dialogue. We can prepare our youth to be effective ambassadors of Kenya. Such training and mentoring will contribute meaningfully to the advancement of our nation on the world stage. Our expectations are particularly high about the future role of the University of Nairobi in developing expanded research partnerships with our leading international, with other leading international institutions. Such strategic collaboration will enhance its research capabilities, access cutting edge resources, and foster collaboration on groundbreaking research projects that address national, regional, and global challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, at the heart of our continent's development is leadership. I am also confident that we can look at the university as an institution that will continue to contribute to the next generation of African leaders. 
our students need to be equipped with the skills, knowledge, and mindset needed to lead with integrity, vision, and impact. With the Big Five initiatives, this institution will be well placed to nurture ethical leadership and empower individuals to drive positive change in their communities and beyond. Looking ahead, university leaders and faculty bear the profound responsibility of nurturing the next generation of visionaries and trailblazers. It is not enough to impart academic knowledge. You must also cultivate leadership skills that will empower our students to lead with integrity and a sense of purpose. All our academic institutions must be breeding grounds for individuals who are not only academically proficient, but also equipped to navigate the complexities of our rapidly evolving world. It is my hope that the Chancellor's bold new initiatives will inspire and empower the entire university community to reach new heights of achievements, setting a new standard of excellence that will be recognized and celebrated on the global stage. In particular, I challenge the University of Nairobi to mold champions of our national interests and global ambassadors who will ensure that Kenya's voice is strong and influential in the international arena. It is a great honor to be here tonight at this Chancellor's Dinner, hosted by Professor Patrick Van Coyne. As you are talking about being the chair of the Wangare Mathai Foundation, something touched me because when we went for the African Union Summit earlier this year in Addis Ababa, it was my first time to be there as Minister for, for Finance. And they then made us walk around to see a few things. Then there was a section where there's a bronze statue of uh, prominent Africans, Julius Nyerere and others. And then I was told, now you see this section here. This section was designated by the African Union as a corner for the statue of Wangare Madai. It was empty. There's no statue. There's no bronze statue on the spot designated by the African Union for Wangare Madai. I think my statement speaks volumes. Let's think about it.